Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. Your Sambo, Seraphis Thrallwin, and joining us today is none other than Pico Man himself. Good afternoon, young man. Hey, Sambo, how's it going? It's Halloween where I am in the world, and I'm pretty sure it is where you are, and I'm pretty sure it is in most games. I'm enjoying this time of the year because Halloween means one thing, and one thing only, it means yeah. Exactly, that's what it means. It means Mr. Pumpkinhead there, Jack of Lantern. So I'd like to say hello to somebody who I know is in the chat room, and that would be Catella. Are you there? Hi, Sambo. How's it going? Happy Halloween to you and yours. Thank you. Happy Halloween to you. Thank you. Today we're filming, and I feel like things are imminent. You know, I feel like this is all going to come to an end very quickly. How many more shows do we have to go before we can't film anymore in version one? This one, and then one more. No. No way. Oh, okay. It's all coming to an end. So very very quickly but remind us again Catella we are going to be back one day in the future right we are once uh, 2.0 comes out Okay, 2.0 is what we're waiting for. Now, speaking of waiting for things, I haven't looked up in the sky recently, but is that big red ball of fury getting even closer? It's still there. It doesn't visually look closer, but it's coming down. Yeah. In fact, you know what? When we logged in, Pico, you might be able to help me here. There was some kind of weird countdown timer on the launcher. Has that got anything to do with Delamud, or is that till the end of the game, or is it the same thing? What, what is that counter? I believe that is a counter to the 11th of November, where... Uh -huh. It really will be a spectacular show, I think. I think the devs are going to put on a special event. All right. Now, Catella, you know what? Behind the scenes, of course, we all know you organize all of this. Are we going to be around to film any shenanigans going on around this event that Pico's talking about? Um, The event, my understanding about the event, the countdown is going to, once it goes down, uh, is when the servers go down. And then it's actually going to turn into a link that we can go watch the um, newest trailer about... <gasps> Uh, a Realm Reborn. Okay, that's very cool. We'll make sure that we grab that as well. And okay. one other thing, Sango, there were, uh, there's also going to be a live producer's letter shortly after the servers go down. It oh. will be in Japanese, but viewers from other countries can follow the Twitter and right. they'll get quick translations of what they're saying. Yes, in fact, we've been watching those recently and they are awesome. Can't wait for that. So, right, look, everybody's waiting with bated breath to see what happens. And of course, I know a lot of you folks watching along from home and welcome to this week's very special episode. And you'll find out why in just a minute. I know you guys are are waiting for the PS3 version and look so am I I want to play this game like sitting on my butt on the couch with a beer and on my big screen TV I would absolutely love that I'm, I know I'm not the only one that is waiting for the PS3 version so to answer that question Catella again when can people expect it maybe not a date but do we know anything about the PS3 version my understanding from what they've been saying is that it should be out the same time that the PC version is out there you go. All right, we're going to hold you to that. You realize that because I want couch <laughs> gameplay. I certainly want that. And of course, the other reason people want the PS3 version is because a lot of folk can't actually run this game on their PC. It's just a bit of a beast. And of course, it'll be optimized for the PS3. You'll be able to run it no problem. So definitely looking forward to that. But do you know what I'm also looking forward to is today's episode. Now, Pico, the way I understand it is that today we've had something very special organized. If I remember correctly, we've got a bit of a fashion show going on. Am I dreaming or is that right? That's what we have planned. I really, really hope that the members of the distant world have gone and dudded themselves up and that we get to see them. But before we go any further, you know what? I just got another reminder for you guys and that is that I think next week's episode, Catella, I think we're taking questions for a bit of a big Q&A session. Is that right? That's right. So if anybody wants to actually submit a question, how would they go about doing that? Go ahead and just uh, put them in the comments and we will take them from there. Oh, it's that easy. So you don't have to go and join the website or anything. You can do it right here on this YouTube video. That's correct. All right, there you go, folks. You've got no excuse. If you've got a question for Pico, Catella, Blind, Mini, any of the folks, Merrick, that we see week in, week out, then ask it down below and maybe, maybe if you're lucky, it will get answered. All right, well, I don't know about you, Pico, but I'm kind of itching to see what's going on around here. And I know where, hang on, let's have a look at the map. Where exactly are we? Ah, there we are. Look, we're up at the Maketo Amphitheatre and we've been here before. Pico, every time we come here, there seems to be some kind of event going on with the Link Shell. Do you reckon it's going to be any different today? Yeah, well, regular viewers to the series will recognize this place and hopefully a good show. Yeah, it's always a sign of something to come, if you ask me. All right, well, I say that we, I mean, look, we're off to the side here. Why don't we head on down, if you don't mind? 
and maybe, maybe if we're lucky we can see some folk, I mean, if they gather anywhere, they kind of normally gather in this amphitheatre, but do you know something else, Pico? I, I think we're a bit late. Uh, weren't we meant to be here like uh, an hour ago or something? I think the clock's changed. Oh, we blame Daylight Savings. And company officers, present arms. And there we go, folks. That is one heck of an entrance, if you ask me. And my huge thanks go to all the members of the wonderful Distant World Link Shell. As we pan around here in the amphitheatre, we can see them all out in the audience out the front there. And, of course, lined up behind us as well in their grand company colours. It does not get any grander than this, in fact. And you guys are in for a real treat. But before we go any further, Pico, I don't know about you, but I very much value our viewers that watch this show regularly. And I'd like to start with a couple of shout-outs, if you don't mind. And the first one we've got here is from Aska Maru. And they say, hey there, Sambo. I've been watching all of your videos all the way from video number one since I began this game here, Final Fantasy XIV, a few months ago. I would like to have a shout out in your next video. I'm from Colombia, all the way over from Colombia there, and I have a question. Ooh, uh oh, someone's going to ask me a question. This is always bad. I might have to uh, pass this on to Pico or Catello. We'll see. In version two, will we be able to change servers? And I ask that so that I can find out if I can join your wonderful link shell. Keep up the great videos. They are really helpful. Pico, you're up here with me. Do we have an answer for that? Can people change servers once version 2.0 comes along? I believe there's a recent dev post addressing this. And as far as I'm aware, existing players won't be able to have a choice of a new server. Okay. Like they can't, they can't go to a new server because it will be an imbalance on their economy. But right. I think new players can join us at any time. There you go. Aska Maru, there's an answer straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Thank you very much for your support. Another shout out here. This is from Rogadin Forge 33 and they say, Hey, Sambo and the Link Shell. There you go. What's up? I haven't played Final Fantasy XIV yet. I'm waiting for 2.0 on the PS3 and I cannot wait. I'm going to have a Rogadin character, which is my most favorite race. And I was wondering if I could have a shout out for a Rogadin and tell Blind rage that I said power to the mighty Rogadin. Thank you and I hope to see you all in 2.0. Well you know what Rogadin Forge 33 I've got a funny feeling that Blind Rage is actually here somewhere in the audience and I'm pretty sure he joins us on voice chat. Hello Blind Rage. Hello Samba. Hey how's it going there? Now I don't know about this somebody giving you a shout out saying power to the mighty Rogadin. Good lord is that in your opinion the most mightiest of races? Yes, it is. I like the Rogadins. Is that because their racial is goat killing? Is that one of their racial skills? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Now, are you feeling okay? Because as I look around here, and if we look out to the audience, in fact, there you go, right in front of us, I actually don't see any goats in here. Are you going to be okay for the next wee while? 
Uh, I might go through some convulsions, but I think I'll handle it. Withdrawal symptoms. There you go, folks. There you go, Rogan and Forge 33. You've definitely got blind rage on your side. Got another shout out here. And this is from Diesel Boom 123 And they say, hey, Sambo, I love your Let's Plays and I love Final Fantasy XIV. I can't wait for the PS3 version. There's another one. There we go. Can't wait for that to come out. And can I please have a shout out in the next episode? Hope to see all of you guys in the link shell soon. Well, we hope to see you in version 2. 2.0 there diesel boom one two three great to hear from you and thank you for your support and then finally one more shout out here we've got from spooky x 13 and they say hey sambo myself and my partner love the videos and are currently awaiting a realm reborn on the ps3 there's another one good lord we are also going to distant worlds here in the uk in november Oh man, okay, I'm insanely jealous about that. If possible, could you please say hello to her in a future video? Her name is Alex. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you play in 2.0. Well, okay, there's a couple of things there. Firstly, a big hello and wave to Alex. So this is a big wave to you. Hello, hope you're enjoying the show. And I don't know about that. Did you hear that Catella that they're actually going to, not Distant World, not us, but the actual Distant Worlds concert? Are you jealous? Very jealous. Oh, man, I would lo- I would give my left leg to go to one of those. It's amazing. Pico, man, have you ever been to one of those concerts? Well, funny enough, they say November because there's. it sounds like it could be... The concert that's playing very close to me in the city of Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland. Uh, Don't tell me you're going. I may be going, yeah. Oh my lord. Okay, if you go, we have to interview you afterwards so that we can get a blow-by-blow rundown of exactly what has happened there because that's one of my lifelong dreams is to be able to go to one of those. There we go. So thank you very much, SpookyX13X, and I hope you enjoy today's show. But now, folks, it's time to get on with the show. And so I'm going to duck out of the way. In fact, we're going to wander off the stage here. Here we go, and oh, look who's at the front of the stage. It is Mr. Blind Rage himself. Good day, good to see you in the flesh, so to speak. Now, we were talking to your much better half before. She was saying that you guys celebrate Halloween. Now, I'm just wondering, what on earth do you get dressed up in as a costume? Or do you get dressed up, and do you go out and scare young children? Tell me it's not in your Speedos. Yes, no. No, <laughs> You heard it here, folks. That's right. He does. He goes out in his speedos for Halloween. Do you have? Like, I don't pe- need to dress up. To oh, scare people. Oh, I see. So people just your natural state. People think that you are wearing a Halloween costume. Do they? Yeah. There you go. No. All right. No. Yeah. <laughs> that makes for a very cost-efficient Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the way, Blind Rage. Great to see you. And opposite you over here, we've got Lady Crea. Lady, hello to you. Hello, Sambo. Great to see you. Now, do you celebrate Halloween in your neck of the woods? Yes, I do. Um. Just too old to go out trick-or-treating now, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You're never too old for that sort of stuff. What, do you have a, a big party or... Like, do you actually get dressed up at all? I do still um, try to get dressed up and look as pretty as possible and go out and get some, um, get some candy. Of course, that's the idea. <laughs> Fill our bellies of candy. I like that. I was saying earlier, you know what, it's not such a big event here in Australia, but I think it's a good excuse for us to sort of get dressed up. And in fact, the last two, here's a secret. You guys aren't allowed to tell anybody, but the last Halloween party I went to, I actually wore a dress because I was having to, yeah, it was a bet anyway. So <clears throat> don't tell anyone. But apparently I look good. Apparently I've got very feminine legs. So there you go. <laughs> look, she's all scared now. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, I think that's enough. Enough about my feminine legs. I think now it's time for the next part of the show here. And boy, we've got a special treat for you guys. This part here is all about the grand company colors. So in fact, I'm going to hand it over to Merrick for the presentation of company colors. Thanks, Sambo. Um, today we're going to talk, or we're going to take a look, a quick look at the grand company, uh, the gear. Officers of the Twin Adder, please step forward. Thank you, you may step off to the side.
Officers of the Maelstrom, please step forward. Thank you. You may step aside. Officers of the Immortal Flames, please step forward. Yours, and officers of the Alliance, you are now dismissed. There you have it, folks. How outstanding was that? That was a presentation. Thank you, guys and gals, of the Grand Company Colours. Of course, my favourite was in there, the bright yellow. Thank you very much to everyone who participated in that fashion event. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the colours all in one place on the one stage at the same time. That was amazing. Now, coming up next, I think we've got another event, Catella. This one, I believe, has something to do with holidays. Is that right? That's right. So we've got a holiday a game event presentation a fashion show and I'm guessing that these are all items that you can actually get pieces that you can wear that you win from holiday events so I guess we'll have to wait and see we'll be right back folks and here we're joined with Catella and Vile Everett Catella why are we up on the stage here with Vile and more importantly what on earth is that on his head that is a chronicler's crown. Oh my lord. Okay, I've heard rumours about this thing. Vile, hello to you. Hi, Sambo. All right, now you've got to tell me about this thing, because that looks pretty swanky if you ask me. Uh, how many people in our link shell do you reckon have this particular headpiece? Uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe another two, two or three. Okay, so it's fair to say it's a bit of a rare find. I mean, look, where do you get it from? Um, you get it by clearing most of the plot quests up to level 36. Oh, okay. So do you think there's ever a chance that I'll get it? Um, yeah, at some point. At some point. I think he's covering himself there. Catella, so this is amazing. I mean, we've seen Pico wearing a crown before as well. Is this the same one? It's not the same one. Oh, okay. So do you have one of these? I don't. Do you want one of these? <laughs> I do want one of those. <laughs> there you go. Well, congratulations, Vile. It's great. Thank you very much for showing it off, and happy Halloween to you, by the way. Happy Halloween to you as well. <laughs> and look who I've found out in the audience today. It is Egghead herself. Mini Ninja, a big hello to you. <laughs> Now, now, you shouldn't talk about Master BB that way. Oh, now come on. I mean, you know, let's, let's give you a wave. You have got something crazy on your head there. To be honest, it looks a bit holiday themed as well. Tell us about what's on your noggin. This is a vibrant egg cap, and I got it during the Easter event. 
Aha! Okay, so we're obviously talking about holiday events. And look at this, we're all snuggled up here. We've got Lee Laney, hello to you. We've got Master Vivi, we've got Jinx McNinja, and we've got Demon Unikai. Great to see you guys, by the way. So, Mini Ninja, do you have one of those in real life? Well, yes, I have like three of them. Yeah, of course you do. I can imagine you wondering. In fact, you know what? I actually can picture you wandering around in real life. That's sort of the thing that you would do. I don't know. Look, I'm having a great time here today in the amphitheatre, and I think we're having all sorts of fashion shows. The next one coming up, speaking about holiday events, is all to do with holiday events. So, uh, excuse me if you don't mind. Here we go. See you later, Minnie. Good to see you, by the way. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever, she says. <laughs> We're going to wander over to the stage, guys, and look at this. What a fine bunch we've got up on the stage. And even better than that, we've got Sin Lin here at the side. A big hello to you. Hello. How's it going? Oh, I'm going very well. You know what? It's finally great to have you here in one of our episodes. Now, in case you guys don't realize, Sin Lin is actually Cindy from Game Latte. It's so good to have you on the show at last. Woohoo! I've been watching your channel. I always watch your channel. But I think you made a bit of an announcement recently on your Game Latte channel. What's going on there? Uh, not too much. I'm just taking a little bit of a break because uh, school is crazy right now and I'm getting a lot of exams so I can't really concentrate on gaming as oh, much. So. Man, that's that's got to be awful. There's always time for gaming, sure. Yeah. Well, look, I guess if you work I hard wish. at school... Well, if you work hard at school, you'll have nothing but gaming to do afterwards, right? Like, it'll be a big reward. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that'll pull you through. Well, look, best of luck. And are you celebrating Halloween, by the way? Oh, of course. Absolutely. It's yeah. a big you, thing here. Yeah. See, it's not such a big thing here in Australia, but like, do you get dressed up and you go trick-or-treating with the family and stuff? Yeah, you betcha. We have a little party to go to with the whole family and uh, our costumes are all lined up. I'll be steampunking this year, so I'm very excited. <laughs> all right. You know what? Steampunk's one of my favorites and I know it's Reggie's favorite as well. Well, look, you know what? Speaking of holiday events, I can see you've got a bunch of folk up on the stage here, so I'm going to leave this to you and I'm pretty sure you're going to take us through all of this right yes I'm going to do my best all right well look we'll leave you to it all the best and great to see you by the way thanks for coming along no problem thank you all right everybody so in keeping with the Halloween season next we are going to showcase items that were obtained through the holiday events now those with items from the Heavenstone New Year's event please step forward Awesome, look at that, nice posing. Hang on, what is that? Is, is that Catella? Is that you, Catella? <laughs> yeah. Are you wearing next to nothing at all? Oh, so I've been told. <laughs> there you go, folks, avert your eyes. <laughs> She's so cute, though. She is. All right, now moving on to the next items. Those with items from the Valentiones or the Little Ladies' Day event, please step forward. All right, everyone. Now we have Soundsy with the Paramore pendant and Pico with the Peach Blossom earring. Looking fantastic, guys. I agree. Cindy, they look amazing. Right, so I've got a question to ask. We've got Yumi here and we've got Soundsy and one of them is wearing green. The other one's wearing red. Cindy, how come? Are there different colors in here? Yes, you can. Uh, during the event, you were able to get different colors of the little bikinis there. That is cool. So, yeah. It's so cool. And you uh, could, oh, I believe you could get wallpapers as well. Was that for the for that event or was that for the that summer's one? Yeah, which was cool. It was a nice touch. Very cool. Very and Pico Man, looking disturbing as always. Seriously. <laughs> Wait, thank you. <laughs> All right. So everybody can stand back and we'll, we'll move on with the Hatching Tide Easter event. Please step forward. Oh, awesome. Cute little eggs. I love you, me and your little kitty ears. 
That is awesome, isn't it? And what, look, Pico Man's got some kind of egghead on. You can tell <laughs> as well. Mini Ninja with her egghead. Tell I her love what's... Minis. I uh, Same here. We were talking to her in the crowd before, by the way. Yes, hello, Mini. Hello. Hello. <laughs> can tell her, what is that you've got on your noggin? That is a Midnight e Easter hat. I'm trying to remember the name. <laughs> It looks pretty awesome. How come yours is white, Pico? This, this is a struggle with egg cap. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now, are you feeling comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing? Uh, I believe it's somewhere here, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be a little chilly. Yes, I, I'm with you there, Cindy. <laughs> and so Minnie's hat is very colourful. Okay, so we shall move on to the next one. Everybody go back to your places. Okay. Go on. Off with you, Minnie. Off with you. Look at her skulking into the background there. <laughs> see your egg here. Oh no. Oh no. I see what's coming. I see what's coming. Oh, there we go. Oh, Avengerize enough down. Everyone. Dear, oh dear. I had to. The egg commanded me. <laughs> She's possessed by the Easter egg. No. All right, everybody. Let's move on to the Firefall and Moonfire Fair events, which we talked a little bit about before. So, everyone, please step forward. All right, so we have some bathing suits and some wonderful yukatas of a few different colors, some red ones and black, and a blue one as well, or la lavender. Very lovely. Oh, look at these poses. You know what, Cindy? I can also see up on the stage there another troublemaker, and that would be Scarlet Rosebud posing away there. Hello to you. Hello. How are How you? Are you? I'm good. Happy Halloween to you, by the way. Happy Halloween to you too. Now, do you remember actually getting this? Now, Cindy, remind me again. What are these called? You, you, you. Yukatas. Yukatas, I believe. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> do you remember getting your one, Scarlet? Yes, I do. Did you get one of every color? No, this. Well, no, I have two. I have red and blue. Talk about a massive event. We've got all these fashion shows going on. This would be right up your alley, wouldn't it? Oh, I like dressing up. You know what? Secretly, I do as well. Well, on my character, anyway. Not really in real life. Cindy, these guys look awesome, don't they? Oh, they look fantastic. I love it. That's not what I heard. Oh. Mini Ninja, you're causing trouble. Oh, me? No, never. I would <laughs> never mention anything about Sambo being in a dress on Halloween. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, did you hear that? It's all lies, folks. Total lies. <laughs> that time I wore a dress at Halloween didn't happen. Oh, hang on. That didn't come out right. Anyway, Cindy, <laughs> Cindy, don't we have to move on to the next event. Absolutely. So everybody, please step back and we'll move on to the next holiday. Nice safe, Sambo. Nice safe. <laughs> Zero, yeah. I think I'm in trouble now. Thanks, Mini Ninja. You're welcome. All right, moving forward. We are now moving into the Hunter's Moon and Halloween events. So please step forward again in your Halloween-y costumes. You know what, Cindy, I've been looking forward to this one. I like Halloween. <laughs> oh my lord, look at them. They've all got pumpkins on their head. <laughs> I know, scary pumpkin heads. They're kind of yeah. creepy. Especially when they're wearing the clothes that Pico's wearing. Seriously, you outdo <laughs> yourself every time. This is amazing. So, no, do we know? I'm trained to wear these clothes. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, nightmares. This is stuff of nightmares. Cindy, do we know what they're actually wearing? Well, we had some white pumpkin heads a minute ago, and then we have a ripened pumpkin head and a ripened pumpkin head, I think. Good lord. So, there's all different flavors and styles. Is that something you can just <laughs> yeah. choose, or are they different rewards for different events? Oh, look, there's Catella. Catella, you've got a white one on your head. How come yours is white and we've got Oh yeah. The event, what it did is like you had to collect so many cookies and then turn them in and then depending on how many cookies you put in, that's what color you got. Ah, okay. All right. So it's, and were there how many colors were there? White, green, orange, is that it? I think that's it. Were you around, Cindy, for any Halloween events? Because, of course, we haven't got any this year. Oh, yes, I was. And um, I believe the cookies were in little treat bags scattered around the city. And you had to go find them and all that. And that was really awesome. Yeah, that'd be lots of fun. I missed out. I didn't get to do it. <laughs> Never mind. Everyone looks amazing, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Well, look at the dancing there, guys. Yumi. <laughs> All right, now so everybody step back and we will move on to my favorite holiday event 
and that will be the fantastic Starlight Celebration, which we're going to miss this year. The Starlight but Celebration. Now tell us about it. What was that? I don't remember that one. The Starlight. That was the Christmas event uh, from, I believe, there, was there two years? Yeah. So, oh, look at this. So we have Corey in and Soundsy in the reindeer outfits, which is just adorable. That was from the last year. It's fantastic. Yep. And then we have Pico Man, Yumi, and I can't read all the names, Mini, and I believe Merwin in the Santa outfits, which I adore. And that was the first thing I got um, in the very first Christmas event, the first year. I, you know, so. I missed out on those again, both of them, in fact. Pico, it's very fitting, very lovely looking there. I, you know, I think I see you wearing those shoes around the place all the time, don't I? Yeah, they're my favorite shoes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Cindy, I'm with you, though. I love the outfit. Is it a reindeer? Look at it. She turned around. She's got a fluffy little tail on there. It actually <laughs> looks like it's stitched on them, doesn't it? Like, it's an amazing job that they do. The graphics, don't you think? It's so very detailed. That's one thing I absolutely love about this game. I just can't get enough of the visuals. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we get sounds with the kitty tail as well, which kind of looks weird. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, wonderful. All right. So that is it for the seasonal events. Wasn't that fun? That was. Thank you so much, Cindy, for taking us through all of those outfits and costumes. And by the way, big thank you to everybody up on the stage as well for dressing up and dragging out all of your holiday event costumes. We really, really appreciate it. You know what, Catella? This is just being so much fun. Have we got any more sessions to come? Yeah, we have a couple more sessions to go. <gasps> Awesome. All right, can't wait. We'll see you soon, guys. And here we are. We're back in the audience before our next section. And you can see I'm sitting here with Gur. We've got Rissy. We've got Sky. We've got Kendra, Sarah, and Soundsy. Now, Kendra, hello, Soundsy. Kendra Hearts, I think you're in voice chat with us there. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Now, tell me about this outfit because, I don't know, it looks to me like you're a air hostess from the 60s or something. What is this? It's my crafting gear for weaver and leatherworking. That is crafting gear? You're kidding me. No. Good Lord, what do you think about this, Gur? Are you wearing your crafting gear as well? Oh yeah, this is uh, a very low level crafting gear, but I made it myself. It's pretty much, you, you can do it when you're about one or two levels into weaving. Oh, you know what, I love crafting. Hi Soundsy, how's it going? Hello, Sam. Oh, what is that you're wearing? Is that crafting gear or gear that you've made yourself? This is actually gathering gear. Gathering gear, there we go. Well, look, it's great to see you guys, by the way. We're going to head up to the stage because I understand we've got Heat to Fire Charmer, and I think you're in voice chat. Hello there. Yes, I am. Hello there. Good to see you, by the way, and I think that you're going to introduce this next section to us. Am I right? Well, uh, the best I can. Well, this first section is for crafting and gathering the gear. The gear. Uh -huh. Everyone with the gear on, please step forward with the specific gear. It's looking good. I love the two in the middle. It's uh, Jenna and Nita. And it well now. Now I can see, yeah, Ezreal and Jenna. Hi, by the way. Jenna. Hello, Jenna. How are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you. And you know what? I agree with Peter. <laughs> we're, we're having a look at your gear. What is that? You look kind of like a... Well, you've got an apron on there. Are you, what are you, a baker or something? All crafting purposes, I guess. Oh, so it's like an all-purpose crafting outfit. That's very cool. Yeah, it's, it's from the Grand Company. Peter, do you have this gear? Uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Neither do I. Do you know what? There we go. You can see in chat there. Thank you, Ezreal. They're saying it's actually, yes, Grand mm -hmm. Company Crafting Gear. That's very flash, isn't it? Very yeah, nice. And, and one thing that I just noticed when Pico was turning around, his golden saw. Oh. If Pico can step forward. Let's have a look at this guy. Yeah. Oh. He's really in the bling there. Lord. A golden <laughs> saw. Pico, man, you are going to have to explain yourself. How on earth did you get that? By crafting the same things over and over again, this is an achievement reward. reward. 
Well, congratulations, Pico. That, that's amazing. Catella, is it only Pico that has these crazy, crazy instruments, weapons, and pieces? Like, he, he must be bonkers, right? He must spend thousands and thousands of hours in here, don't you reckon? Pico is a dedicated crafter. All right, that was awesome. Peter, this is great fun. What's next? Uh, the ne- next is uh, a section where the models have literally kept out their craft to level 50. And these will show off the uh, crafter's hats. Please step forward, those with the level 50 hats. Well, okay, now this is something that's new to me. And we can see Westet there, and we can see Catella. West, do you join us on voice chat? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hello to you. And look, you, do you know what, Pico? You might as well stay up on stage the whole time. I think you're going to be in every <laughs> single section. Now, look at that, Catella as well. Westet, tell us about this hat. Looks amazing. It's like a top hat with a feather in it. Well, yeah, it's the. It would be like the class specific hat for the weaver. Oh, okay. And it's like level 50. That is awesome. That's a major achievement. You got the same there, Catella? Yep, it's the same one. Awesome. Okay, well, then what's Pico got on his head? This is the carpenter's hat. Ah, uh, okay, so different ones for different crafting. Man, Heater, I'm so jealous. You know what, I'm, I love this fashion show, and I loathe it at the same time, because all it's doing is showing me all the stuff that I haven't got. What about you? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, on crafting, I really am not as great as these guys, and I'm really jealous for, for this. They probably have, must have some skills. I think so. To too. achieve it. Well, um, we're going to move on to the next next session. Uh, Cher has uh, apparently has an, have a hat for Goldsmith. Whoa, look at that. Okay, that's very cool. That's different than everybody else's. Sarah, are you there on voice chat? Yes, I am. Hey there, now you've got to tell us. So what, does this literally mean that you've reached max level in goldsmithing? Uh, just recently, actually. Well, congratulations Full complement of, of Grand Company gear to boot. Whoa, that is awesome. Now, I understand, I could be wrong, but I hear that goldsmithing's a really hard profession. Is that right? Uh, it was actually pretty easy oh. near the end. Oh, well, I don't know. Your well, definition you of easy get... is probably different to mine, if you ask me. Well, there's a lot of war <laughs> you can get through mine. <laughs> well, congratulations. That was awesome, wasn't it, Heater? Absolutely amazing. It was. And then to think that the next section is for, for a section where everyone puts their favorite cra- crafting gear on and st- step up. And the first model in particular is very uh, appropriate to you, Senda. Oh? In your, le- in your Let's Play episodes. Really? Who is? Who are we talking about? Oh, come on. Maki Takunashi. Okay, Kitella. Kitella, what's going on? Kitella! Ma- Maka. Maki made that armor and uh, had made it, and it was supposed to be red, but it actually is very pink. <laughs> oh. Uh, I see what's going on. They're mocking me, folks. It is pink. Is that what I get it now? I see. So, do you know pink, what? Yeah, the army has invaded. Yeah, I was just going to say, in fact, in Guild Wars 2, it's called Humiliation Pink. So, Marky, thank you very much for that. Look at everyone laughing. At me. Scarlet Rosebud, did you have something to do with this? I had nothing to do with that, but I think it was a great idea. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, man. Heater, Heater, did you know they were going to do that to me? Mm, maybe. Oh. Oh, all my faith in you is gone. Fine, I'm going to go off and salt <laughs> in a bright pink corner catella. Don't think I'll ever forget that. Don't you dare think that. <laughs> Gee, thanks, guys. What's up next? Well, uh, if, uh, everyone in their favorite gear can step up, and it will be the end. Oh, so what's this? A part where everyone's getting on their favorite gear? Their favorite gathering or crafting gear. Aha! Okay, let's see what people change into. Nita Blanca there. We've got Je- oh, Jenna. Jenna! Uh, uh, Jenna's favorite gathering to, uh, or crafting gear is mostly naked, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. it's her, her favorite gear, period. Oh, look at that. Look at Yumi's outfit. That is amazing. That is so very cool. Yeah. Yumi, are you in voice chat? Yes. Oh, hey there. How's it going? And by the way, happy Halloween to you. Tell us about your outfit. What is that top that you've got on? Uh, the 
that's just the level of, I think, 45 crafting top. That's amazing. Gee, I love this game. Look at that, we got Azrael in the <laughs> Grand Company stuff there. We've got, yes, Jenna, half naked, Pico Man, Pico. Pico, Show off got... yet, an, yet another gold weapon. Another uh, gold? Gear. What is that one, Pico? Oh, this one's featured before when we did our epic um, oh, episode when we gathered, crafted, and sold. I remember that. It, look, are any of your gathering tools not gold? Well, I couldn't take it to do any more gathering tools. Just one is enough. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, dear. Katella, this guy's unstoppable, isn't he? And look at that. We've got Okazaki Masamune. Is Okazaki in voice chat? Hello, sir. Hello. All right, come on. Tell us, what are you wearing? Do you know what? You look a little bit like Solid Snake, if you ask me. Is that yeah. <laughs> That's preferable. <laughs> Don't you reckon? What's your outfit you got on there? Uh... Just some dated iron gauntlets and dated iron sabatons. Yeah, very And some standard crafting stuff. Right, standard by your standards, I'd imagine. Because look at that, basically we've got the two greatest crafters ever, if you ask me, Pico and Oka, standing next to each other. Katella, you're in fine company there. Yep, I think so. What are you wearing? I'm just wearing the normal uh, felt gown normal look at all these folks talking about it as if it's daily normal stuff it's all yeah, amazing to it's, me right Hita? It, it isn't normal it isn't normal for me to wear if, uh, to get this stuff so cool <laughs> i love this i love this look at that over the side then we got lady kriya and lee laney over in the background are you there lady yes i am hey good to see you and what are you wearing because you're matching lee laney over there what's that gear it's actually the gear for um the gathering classes we're both uh, level 50 miners oh level 50 miners all right congratulations i don't think i've got a single gathering or crafting class even over like level 15 or something i'm, I'm so far behind well congratulations to everybody heater that was awesome wasn't it it definitely was thanks guys well, Hita, that was so much fun. I think we've got another session coming up now, and it's going to be the Dungeon Gear presentation. I've been definitely looking forward to this one. But thanks to everyone for showing off their crafting and gathering gear. Hope you guys at home are enjoying this. I certainly am. And we'll be back with the Dungeon Gear in a moment. And here we are once again in the audience mingling with Cindy. Hello there. Hello. Man, I'm having so much fun today. I, I don't think I've ever seen such a display of all of the armors and like sets and outfits in the game that I have in this session. It's just been incredible. And of course, do you know what the sad fact is, Cindy, is that I'm probably going to own mm, none of it, I'd imagine. It, I'm jealous of it all. What about you? Have you got some fancy stuff? I wish I did on my main character. Um, this is actually my secondary character that I sometimes play with you guys, so yeah. well, not very often. But uh, no, I don't. And, and like you, I'm not really in a position to to go get them. So the closest I can get to is some of the holiday events or some of the things that I can get within, you know, a solo or with a small group. So we'll see how it goes. We will see. Maybe over Christmas time. I've got some time off. Oh, of course, the game's going to be down, though. Oh. Oh, well, maybe next time. That's right. Maybe in a Realm Reborn. I don't know. Look at that, by the way. Sitting next to us, we've got Selfie. Hi, Selfie. How's it going? Taking photos. Busy. Yeah, I was going to say, he's our official photographer today, so we'll leave him be. You want to go along to the Distant World Link Shell website there if you want to see the results of his work. But look, we've got Jinx McNinja. And on the other side over there, can you see Cindy? We've got Biako Bifrost. We've got Wing. Wing God Raven Cry. All these people with this amazing gear. I don't know about you, but it looks like it comes out of dungeons or something. What do you reckon? I think so. I'm not really sure. I haven't been paying much attention to the game lately, so I'm quite mystified just as you are. It looks freaking awesome, though. Doesn't it? It looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> do you know what? I think we can wander down to the stage, perhaps, and maybe, maybe somebody like Catella will be able to tell us some more. Hi, Catella. How's it going? Good. How are you? I am very, very well. Now, I think you're, you're going to be interested introducing the next slot for us i am and what is it this is the nm and dungeon gear presentation but we're gonna throw in some other things some other content as well all right sounds good in this next section we'll take a look at the pieces that were acquired from defeating nms in instances or dungeon drops will everybody with imperial drops please step forward I see a mini ninja again. Mini, are you sneaking in there? What's Imperial about what you're wearing? You look like you're wearing nothing but your underwear. 
<laughs> well, what is so inferior about what I am wearing is my hat, as well as the hats of the lovely people standing beside me. That's so cool. Catella, what are these hats? So Westa and Minnie both have the Imperial uh, Tricorn. Well, it looks like a pirate's hat to me. Or is that just me? It does. It looks very cool, though. Congratulations, Guy. How do you get that, by the way, Catella? I think, in fact, just as a general statement, all of these things that we're about to see, are they very, very high level, or are they accessible to pretty much anyone? Like, do you have to work hard to get these items? You do have to work hard to get these items. Oh. And you have to be incredibly lucky. Oh, okay. You know what? I fail on both counts there. Look, I can see Lady Kriya over the end again. Hi, lady! Hi! I mean, look, Catella, she looks like she's got a jester's hat. Right yeah. Lee. So Lady and Lee, and it looks like Sarar. Um, they all have the Imperial operative cap, and that. So both those hats. That's the mage one, and then the tricorn uh, that the others were wearing. Those are all from an event that was just recently going on, where you actually had to fight uh, kind of a group of NMs, really, um, and then really just luck out to be able to get the drop. Again, that's something I have very little of, but I know, Merrick, you've been lucky recently. Big hello to you, kind sir. Hello. And thank you for performing the Honor Guard ceremonies at the opening today, by the way. Very professional. You haven't had a military career, have you? Uh, no. All right, well, you do it well. But you've got the, you know what, I'm going to call it the tricorder hat. Can I do that? Tri tricorn. No, it's Star Trek, isn't it? It's the tricorder <laughs> hat. <laughs> Is that okay, Catella, or are you going to get upset with me? Uh, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's not Star Trek, oh, but that's Oops. okay. All right, I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody with the Imperial hats, if they or Imperial gear, if you can go ahead and step back, and then anyone with Hamlet items, please step forward. Now, Catella, while these guys are stepping forward, tell us what is a Hamlet? I mean, what are we doing? Shakespeare? Are we doing poetry in the game? What's going on? <laughs> no. I think um, if you remember from one of our earlier episodes, Oka was actually in a Hamlet while we were filming an episode at I one point. That. And it's kind of a uh, high end content where you kind of, oh, you kind of try and take care of a hamlet area mm, is that something i'm gonna see anytime soon probably not and by time you see it um honestly it's gonna be in 2.0 and it's gonna be very different than what it is right now oh, all right well you know what i'm looking at Soundsy kelly Ope there and they look absolutely amazing they've got like white and gold armor we've got who's in the middle there's master vivi hey master vivi and they've got like a hat with a rainbow tassel on it just amazing gear so you know Catella, to get all of these different pieces of equipment you really have to have like a broad range of activities that you have to complete right like you can't you can't just do a couple of things and get all this stuff and i'd imagine that if you're walking around the cities wearing some of this gear you're going to garner some respect from your fellow players yeah yeah it means you've spent some time uh, working on that so if you guys can step back then anybody that has just anything that they got from a dungeon please step forward so, Catella, when you talk about a dungeon, what exactly do you mean? Is it like an instance, or is it like the stuff we did out in the open world where we're running around literally in a dungeon and fighting bosses? What do you call a dungeon? Uh, it was like when we went to Todorok. Yeah, that's right. I remember Todorok. That was lots and lots of fun. So how come I didn't get any gear that looks like these guys? I can't look like this. These guys look it's amazing. It's not fair. If you remember right, you got a gladiator weapon that you just can't quite use yet. Oh, you know what? I do remember. All right, can't wait. There we go. I'm going to be awesome just like these guys. Look, I'm looking at Westet, and they've got some amazing, like, shoes with blades on the back of them. He's got a massive big pole arm. We've got, who's that? Yumi Hibiki there, who's got one of those crazy Ifrit daggers type things. So Ifrit, is Ifrit considered a dungeon, Catella? Ifrit's not a dungeon. They probably just have that equipped. Oh, okay. All right. And we've got somebody over there. Who is that? That would be Sarah. I think Sarah is a in voice chat what is that weapon that you're holding uh it's one of the weapons that you can get from a dungeon that gives a lot of healing magic potency yeah that looks so cool it looks awesome gotta say oh boy you know what i am so jealous Gur, 
Gert, you're looking very refined up there. What have you got on? Uh, this is some uh, magic uh, gear for mages that I found in Totorak. Ah, uh, specifically Totorak. the pants and the uh, shirt. Good old Totorak. Got good memories from there. And lady, lady, is that an onion hat thing? That you've got on your head yes it is <laughs> can you remind us how you get them um well they i think they had something for beginning players that was called the onion helm but in um another way to get them is through a dungeon and they drop while you are running through the dungeon getting the treasure chests ah uh, katella i can but dream right yeah <laughs> that's about it wow thanks everybody that looks amazing let's give them a great big cheer Woo! And that's all we have for that section. Do you know what? I can also see someone up the back here, though. Merwin Rose. Mir, are you in voice chat? I sure am. Hey there. Good to see you. What are you wearing? Because that looks absolutely amazing. Um, the weapon is a skirmish weapon, and the, um, the body is the dragoon AF. Dragoon stuff, right. You know what? I should have recognized that. Congratulations. And you know what? Standing next to Demon Yuna as well, who looks awesome. I love Demon... Do you know what? I love her hair. I love the hair color. She always has amazing color. But look at that. What's she got on her back there? Um, Mare, do you know what Demon's got on their back there? That weapon looks crazy. Um, that's, that's also a skirmish weapon. Ah, uh, okay. All right. I love the purple. Regina J. Lacerda would be very proud. Well, there you go, folks. Thanks, guys. And thank you, Catella, for this section. Now, we've got yet another section coming up, I believe. Is that right? That's right. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's going to be um, gear that people have gotten from special leaves. Special leaves. All right. Can't wait. We'll see you guys in just a moment. And here we are out in the audience again. I'm sitting next to Scarlet Rose, but Tiger Hawk, hello to you. Hello. Do you know what? I think we're setting some kind of Guinness Book of World Records with the most number of bums on seats. What do you reckon? I think we broke that, yeah. I think so. It's crazy. Crazy. Look how many people we've got jammed up all in here. Sir Watermelons, a.k.a. Jenna. Are you... Oh, no, it's that laugh. It is that laugh. Are you quite comfortable there not really not really I, you know what i'd like to talk to grog and find out if they're comfortable is grog on voice chat yes sir how are you i'm very well what's it like to have a sir watermelon sitting well literally in your lap are you okay uh it doesn't feel completely good no i wouldn't imagine well look do you know what thank goodness it's not butcher that's all i can say but look who's joining us on the bench we've got heater hey heater we've got yumi of course we've got uh, sir watermelons we've got grog we've got Scarlet, we've got Master Vivi, and look, we've got another another person almost sitting on a lap there. We've got Rissy, we've got Abisi. Abisi, hello to you. I think you're from our Guild Wars 2 series as well, is that right? I am. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I saw you last night in our very special Halloween event. You were there, weren't you? Yeah, I may have surprised you with some spiders. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was you. Peach Water and Tiger Hawk. Did they put you up to that? Well, yeah. Yeah, come on, I know. I know how it goes. Good to see you <laughs> over here, by the way. And we've also got Merrick on the end there. G'day, mate. Hello. Now, have you enjoyed today so far? Yeah, it's been pretty fun. You know what? I'm just loving it because I get to see all this gear that I basically never see. So I'm absolutely loving it. Look, over on the end there is West. Hi, West. Hey, how's it going? I see you've got your tricorder hat on there. <clears throat> yep. Right, Catella? Yeah, this tricorder hat. That's what we're going to call it from now tricorder. on. Tricorder. That's right. But do you know what? We've got another section coming up and this is about things special now i think that where we are right now is special because we're squeezing all these bodies onto one seat i think that's pretty special in itself but we've also got something else special and to introduce that is somebody very special themselves well i think mini ninja thinks that he's special if you'd ask him and look at this it, it is a pirate it's a pirate mini ninja g'day how are you g'day i'm <laughs> Oh, no. Hang on. I don't have to talk in a pirate voice, do I? Please tell me no. Yar, you do. Yar, you do. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can get this right. Shiver me timbers, matey. What are we talking about here today? Yar, occasionally there be certain pieces of gear that are only available through completing certain lifts. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh my lord, oh no, it's a butt. There is a butt in our face. That can only be one person. It is Butcher Bashan. Look, Jenna, Jenna, I thought that Butcher was away on holiday. How on earth did he make it over here? That's unbelievable. Does, isn't he cold? He likes the breeze. He, <laughs> 
he likes a breeze. <laughs> he certainly does like a breeze. Look, Mini Ninja, you're a pirate. Uh, is there anything we can do about this guy? Can we smite him into another dimension or something? Oh, there we go. You go on, take him on. Uh oh, actually, now come to think about it, we don't want to fight between these. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, it's time for us to avert our eyes. This is terrible. Special leaves, Mini Ninja the pirate. What exactly is a special leave? I don't know what they are. Well, there be leaves that ye can get through faction points that she be getting from the regular lead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys watching along from home, but I am hoping that you are going to try and speak in a pirate voice for this entire section because it is hilarious. I agree with you, Tiger Hawk Rosebud, laughing in the background there. Well, look, I think without further ado, we should let you introduce some folks here who have got some special leave gear. What's going on up on the stage? Tis be difficult, but here are some examples. <laughs> starting with the onion set. This is the onion set. So I've heard about this before. Now I can see Cindy up on the stage there. Hi, Cindy. Now, I, if I remember rightly, I think that when you very first started playing the game, you could get an onion head thingo. Is that where you got yours from, Sin? Or is it actually from a special lev? No, mine is from the collector's edition, I believe. <gasps> Ooh, swanky. You got yourself a collector's edition. That's pretty cool. So, and who's that? That is doing a dance. We've got Ezreal. Hello to you. So she's got an onion hat as well. I'd imagine that that's from the collector's edition. But the rest of her gear, Minnie, what's all that? Well, I hate to disappoint, but I'm sorry. i got to stop the pirate talk. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll lose my voice by the end of that, and I don't want to spoil you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, so the top piece we have the Coliseum Galeris. It's, uh, you can get that from the special faction loves. And they are actually wearing Hermes shoes as well, which is another bonus item that you get with the collector's edition. Very nice, guys. That is awesome. You know, the people that have actually gotten the Coliseum gear from the special loves, these are basically examples of the full sets of Coliseum gear. <gasps> okay. Oh, can't wait to see these. So what, everybody up on stage has got one? Pretty much, and it's not just Coliseum gear, there's actually, like, the Coliseum gear is specifically for Disciples of War, but there's, um, the, sh col well, actually, yeah, look, it's a Coliseum shawl, but... That is <laughs> awesome. So, hang on, so we've got this top here, and there we go, we've got Maki, we've got Lady Creer, we've got Blind Rage, we've got Mare, and we've got Azrael. I, do you know what, I don't think I've actually ever seen this ever before. It's very special looking gear. What are those boots that Mare, Mare win? are you in chat? Sure am. Hey. <laughs> then and what are those boots you've got on because they look amazing um they're actually uh it's the boots um are from the black mage and then the rest is actually part of the um the pants for the coliseum mage wow you know it's all a little bit skimpy isn't it mini you're not getting <laughs> yes. too excited down there right? we know mini's a bit of a womanizer actually you know what i'm staring right at blind rages but trust you to come up on stage when you had an opportunity to show off your skin hello sir hello how are you uh, well, I was okay, but now we've got this this thing on the stage that's doing a dance. <laughs> Explain yourself. Are you actually wearing Colosseum gear? Yeah, this is the Rogadin version of it. Did, now, come on. Tell me you don't find that disturbing. Um, yeah, I do, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Yet you wear it with pride. What is really cool, though, is the shoulder piece there. Got to say that's awesome. And the little shields on your hips. That is very cool. So, guys, what sort of level are we What about talking? the back? Uh, no. no oh, oh, we'll move the camera out of the way there. Thank you very much, Blind Rage. Right, <laughs> right in our faces there. What sort of level mini do you have to be to get Colosseum gear? Well, in order to participate in the levs, you actually, it's highly recommended that you be at level 50. And in order to wear it, it's level 45. Wow. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. It's a wee way away for me. Is all of the Colosseum Gear Catella going to be in A Realm Reborn? Like, is it still going to be something you can do? You know, I haven't heard for sure, but I, I believe that it will be. I think um, they said that most of the gear... Um, most of the gear like that will be available. It just might be in different ways. You might have different ways to get it. Well, I hope so, because it does, at the end of the day, look awesome, even with you wearing it blind rage. Seriously, that's another image that's seared into the back of my retinas that I'm never going to be able to forget. Thanks for that. Well, Minnie, that was awesome. No These problem. guys and gals have obviously done a whole bunch of work, have they not? Yes, they have. And I'm just having a look at you. What the heck are you wearing? What are those... This pants? is awesome. This is... <laughs> this, oh, the... the 
pants are monk what AF pants, but the top is the Coliseum, just on Lalafell. Oh, okay. It does kind of look a little bit cute. Well, there we go. That's another section down, I think. Thank you very much, everyone, for showing us the Coliseum gear. Thank you, Minnie. And, by the way, it was a very gallant attempt at talking like a pirate for the entire section. But, uh, you know what? I don't think the best of us could keep up with that one. All right. Well, we'll be right back, folks. We've still got more to show you. And if I remember right, Catella, I think the next section is going to be all about class and job-specific weapons and gear. Would that be right? That's correct. All right, can't wait to come back and check that out. We'll be right back. And here we are out in the audience once again, and we're nestled amongst, well, I can see Scarlet in the foreground there. We've got Grog, BC, Lay, we've got Gur, and we've got Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Now, are you managing to stay awake? I know it's pretty late for you, right? It's getting there, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's getting there. And of course, you know, these filming sessions are a big task and we very much appreciate everybody's time. You know what, I've kind of been looking forward to this section. This is all about artifact gear and it's something that I don't know much about but I see a lot of players using... Oh, you're right there Scarlet. you're nodding off. Oh, oh, oh I'm awake oh, now. <laughs> they're awake now, there we go, come on, step to it, there we are. Now Cindy, do you have any artifact gear? No, I do not, unfortunately. I don't even have a job unlocked. Yeah, you know what, I'm a bit the same. What about you Gur? have you got any? Um, I do have a job unlocked, but no artifact armor. At least not on this character. Man, what about you, Scarlet? No, oh, I'm a little slow. Yeah, so in other words, we're sort of over here in the cheap seats, aren't we? We're <laughs> sort of artifact lists. That's what we are. But you know what? I know a bunch of people who do have artifact here. And if we pan around the camera, look at that, will you? This is amazing. We've got a whole bunch of folk up on the stage. And can tell her, as far as I can tell, are all of these people owners of artifact gear? They are. Oh my lord, will you look at this? This is incredible. This is a sight for sore eyes. Catella, you are going to have to walk us through all of this because look, I can see people in white, black, we've got like cloth gear, we've got dragoon stuff. Tell us about what we're looking at. Well, you're looking at the AS gear or the artifact gear and it's basically the uniform that signifies pride in your job. So it's, you do quests and you have to do certain quests to obtain this gear. Wow. Okay, so, I mean, am I a long way away from this gear? Um, well, actually, you can start picking up artifact gear at level 45, so you're not actually that far away from it. So, what have we got? We've got everyone divided up into sections here by the looks of things. Yeah, so everybody's uh, divided into whatever job that they have. And if you look around, we even have some people who have some primal weapons, and you can tell them by they're the ones with their weapons drawn. Oh, I see. So we can see Hita, we can see Nita, we've got Demon Yuna, we've got Yumi, all these people. I can see a Moogle weapon. Hi, Merrick. Merrick, the Moogle weapon person. I can see you over there. And who's that <laughs> down there? Master Vivi as well. So, okay, so if we go from one end to the other, though, in terms of groups, it's... Oh, look, it's Blind. Hey, Blind. Hello. Okay, so Catella, apart from being, you know, an amazing guy and a fine, upstanding, go killing citizen, what group is Blind Rage in? Blind is modeling the Paladin AF. Okay, so let's get a good close look at all of these. These are amazing armors, aren't they? You should be very proud of that, guys. That is awesome. There we go. Blind Rage, Jinx, and Sounty. Fantastic stuff. All right, what do we got next over here? It looks like we've got a whole bunch of cloth wearers. Can tell we've got Lady, we've got Sky, we've got Master Vivi. What's this? White Mage. White Mage. Hi, Lady. Hello. Oh, you've got Moogle. Look at the vault. Oh, we've got Moogle and we've got the Ifrit stuff. All right, next up we've got Merrick, Yumi, and Sarah and Rissi. Katella, help me out here. Which class is this? They are Black Mages. Black Mages. Classic. Look My there. class. Woohoo! Slash loot. Well done. That is awesome. And let's have a look. Who have we got next? You know what? This outfit here always seems to remind me of Pico Man. Uh, I'm going to have a guess. Would this be Archer? Bard. Bard? Oh man, fail. I get minus 10 points. I don't think I'll ever learn my classes. Looks so amazing. They look at the different weapons there. Congratulations, guys. We've got Demon Yuna, Kindra Hearts, Ezreal, and Hita Fire Charmer. That looks amazing. All right, we've got the three troublemakers themselves. We've got Jenna, we've got Pico, we've got Minnie, and of course, Vile Everett isn't a troublemaker. Catella, what do we got here dressed in yellow? They are the monks. 
the monks. Congratulations, guys. Oh, seriously, one day, one day I'm going to get this. Let's have a look. What do we got up next? We've got Nita Blanca. We've got Mia. Hi, Mia. And we've got your good self, yes. Catella. Okay, come on, tell me. What is this outfit? Which class are we representing here? This is Warriors. Okay, now, Mia, Mia, you've got a very different looking weapon there. What's that? It's um, it's a malignant mog axe. You get it from Moogle. Oh, so it's, oh yeah, I can see the little Moogle inscribed in it. It's etched into the blade there. Amazing mm -hmm. details there. Fantastic. Congratulations, Catella. I'd imagine that you've got AF gear for more than one class though right yeah i have archer and white mage or sorry now you got me saying it i have uh, bard and white mage <laughs> we made katella slip up i think that's a win plus guys. one sambo that's right that's definitely a win and then finally on the end here look at this this is amazing now let me guess let me guess katella is this dragoon it is good job yeah thank you very much we've got yukin we've got west Ed, we've got wing odd and we've got biako west i think you join us in voice chat and you look at that you you shot off the back of the stage there are you okay sir <laughs> yeah i'm all right congratulations by the way what about you have you got your af gear for any other classes i got it for the five classes i had it oh you you know what shush i don't want to know i just don't want to know and congratulations well look let's pan back and have a good look at these guys and gals that is one heck of a display of af armor there we've got the class gear look at it all let's see if i can repeat this we've got paladins we've got white mages over there we've got the black mages we've got the uh <coughs> cough archers no we've got the bards we've got the monks we've got the warriors and we've got the dragoons did i do good Tell her. Yep, very good. Excellent. All right, well, we're going to move on. I think we've also got a, another set of gear to have a look at coming up next. What would that be, Catella? Uh, we're going to look at the class gear. Class gear. We'll be right back, folks. And here I am sitting back in the audience and you can see we've got Jinx McNinja, we've got West, we've got Nisa, we've got Wing Odd, we've got Yukin and Kindra Hearts, aka Unique in voice chat. Hello to you. Hi. Now, are you managing to stay awake? Um, yeah, I'm a night owl, so... Oh, you're a night owl. You know what, there's a lot of us who thought we were night owls, but I think we're dropping like flies. It's very long days worth of filming, but I tell you what, guys and gals, it is most certainly worth it. And Jinx McNinji taking a load off down there. How are you feeling? I'm not doing too bad. Not doing Sprite too bad. Sprite helps. Sprite <laughs> helps, that's right. Energy <laughs> drinks left, right, and center, I'd imagine. West End, what is that? It's a glowing orb on the end of a stick. What have you got? It's uh, Groot's van. It's a black mage weapon. That looks or, awesome. Or Thaumaturge, sorry. Just looks fantastic. I love the weapons in this game, as you guys know. And do you know what? I think that it's time to take another look at some weapons up on the stage. And in fact, I think we've got some class weapons that are going to be happening. And we may be lucky enough to take a look at some achievement gear as well. We're going to run down the front here. And I think we've got Catella. Hello. Hello. Now, I'm going to come up the front here and... Oh, okay. You're going to have to talk me through this. Everybody is looking very, very special. Yep. The five people in front here all have things that are for class only. So, anybody with a class weapon, please go ahead and pull out your weapon now. Freeze it up. Whoa. Okay. That looked amazing. They all animate. This is incredible. Okay. You're going to have to explain some of this Merrick. Merrick, I'm pretty sure you've shown off this particular bow before, haven't you? Yes, I have. Now remind us, how do you get that? Um, actually, uh, Pico made this particular bow. Oh, Pico. Pico comes up... Oh, good lord. You know what? I can see him in the background there. Oh, dear. Um, let's move the camera just a little bit. Pico, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, Mini Ninja. I'm. You know what? I'm actually going to do a rare thing and pay you a compliment because that is one heck of a staff or... A, a, what is that that you're carrying? This is called an astrolobe, and it's a, another weapon that Pico crafted himself. Good. Like, Catella. Is there anything here that isn't crafted by Pico? The, well, I Soundsea's probably is not. Um, <laughs> mine, however, is crafted by Pico, so I can't say that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Soundsea, I think you're in voice chat. Tell us about your weapon then. Oh, my weapon is the Mailbreaker. It's the Gladiator uh, class-specific weapon, and Pico did not make it. There you go. It's got to be a first time for everything. Well, congratulations to all of you guys, because that is extremely impressive. You know, I don't think I'll ever own something as awesome as 
as that. Catella, you've got to be proud, surely. Never say never. Never say never. So what else are we going to take a look at today, Catella? Um, so a couple of us here have the actual kind of class-specific gear. It's not like... Like, for example, the one that I'm wearing, right. a pugilist, lancer, or an archer can wear it. Okay, so they're only for very specific classes. So, Merrick, have you got any gear on as well that's specific to a class? Uh, no, just the uh, just the bow. Just the bow. You've got your tricorder hat on. Don't tell Catella. Uh, what about you, Minnie? What do you, I mean, you've got that funny thing on your head again. Tell us again what that is. This is the Delamude's horn. The Delamude's horn, that's right. Of course, we know all about that. But what about the actual robes that you're wearing? Well, Yumi and I are sporting the Vanya robe. Oh, and hi Yumi, by the way, and she's got the pointy thing on her head as well. So where's that from? Well, my Vanya robe was a special gift from Jenna. Oh, what? What? Jenna, where's my robe? Can I have one? <laughs> uh, get to level 50 and I'll get you one. Oh, I see. Alright, there's some conditions with it. And what about you there, Sounce? You've got this amazing armor on. Is that class specific? Uh, it is not. It is actually Hamlet gear. Right, okay. Looks incredible though. Well, Catella, yet again, I am insanely jealous. Oh, you'll get there at some point. I hope so. Look, a big round of applause to you guys, by the way. Congratulations on those amazing weapons. Thank right, you. So what have we got up next? So now, um, if the class-specific people can kind of follow me to the back, behind us is a group of people who have got some special uh, achievement items. This is gear that obviously people have worked hard for. Would that be a good way of describing it? Yeah, yeah, they've done a lot of work to get these items. All right, so let's have a look here. On the end, we've got Soutsy. Hello, Soutsy. So what are we looking at here? What I am wearing are two pieces of dark light gear from the AV speedruns. Oh, man. Is, is it the pants, by chance? The legs? Yes, the legs and my hands. Yeah, congratulations. Leelani, hello to you. What are you wearing? Hello. Uh, this is the heavy dark light armor from AB. And is that, like, what is that on your shoulder? That's incredible. Looks like a canister or something. It's a, I mean, is this all the same armor set? Yep. Congratulations to you. What about you, lady? Hello to you. You've got a crown, I can see there. <laughs> Tell us about your special outfit here. So, um, the crown is actually an achievement award you get for leveling all your classes to level 50, all your battle classes to level 50. What? And, um, yeah, it was a, a long process, but I got some, actually, a lot of help with my classes. I bet. Well, congratulations. That's a massive Thank achievement. you. What about the pants you're wearing then? The pants I'm wearing are the dark light pants. Um, they are a special drop item or I would say a lucky drop item from AV. Alright, congratulations. You can see you've got a Moogle weapon on your back there as well. We've got Yumi next to you here. Hello to you. Tell us about your special gear. Well, it's just the crown too. The crown. You know what? It's not. There's nothing just about it. It looks absolutely amazing. Congratulations. I bet you're proud to pick that one up. Yeah, it took a really long time to level all the classes to 50. I bet. I just can't imagine that ever happening. Congratulations, Yumi. Oh, look, we've got Hita as well. Hello, Hita. Tell us about your gear. Well, the only achievement gear that I got is the Delamut Horn, which you get from clearing every Grand Company quest. Wow. I, you know what, Catella, as I listen to these folk talk about these achievements, I, I just can't imagine how much hard work has gone on behind the scenes. You guys absolutely are amazing. Uh, we've got Azrael there. Looks like they're showing off their shield, and I think they've got the horn as well. How on earth would you get that shield, Catella? So it looks like you have to earn 500k flame seals to be able to get that shield. 500,000 fl- oh, Okay, you know what? I officially give up. I give up. I I can't imagine collecting that many. Congratulations to you, Azrael. And I can see that Sarah has put in chat there that the horn is unobtainable in four days. There you go, congratulations. And standing next to you is Rissi Shokushuko. Hello to you. Tell us, you look like you're wearing a black mage outfit, but you look like you've got a bit of a special wand or something going on. I can see a Delamud's horn as well. Tell us about your outfit. Um, my wand is just a boring landing there's nothing boring about uh, that. Yeah, I just got the diamond on. It's very cool, though. I love the outfit. Thanks for joining us, and congratulations. Done way better than I ever will. So, standing next to Shokushuko is Master Vivi, and they look like they've got some Ifrit weapons. Katala, can you see what he's wielding there? Dual wielding something. He has got Ifrit's claws. Ifrit's claws. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah, there's a uh, Ifrit claw for the monk 
Chris. Congratulations, my friend. And I see you've also got a crown there, which let me guess means that you've leveled all of your characters up to maximum level. So congratulations and thanks for coming along and joining us today. Good to see you. But you know what? I'm going to zoom the camera out because that view wasn't so pretty. Pico man, hello to you. Tell me, tell me that those pants aren't what we're going to be talking about, please. Yep, this is a, a little reward from the fishing quest. It's called the Spar, uh, Star Spangled Subluger Metal that, Bikini. That is a little bikini. I, I don't know how you can wear them out in public, seriously. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Now, I know you've got those fancy shoes on as well, but pretty sure we've talked about this in a previous episode. Remind us again, tell us about your crown. Uh, oh yeah, it's for affixing five material to a weapon. That's right. Not many people have been known to do that, so congratulations. I see you've got a choker on, you've got gloves tell us about some of your other gear um the gloves were for owning Final Fantasy 13 that came with a code oh. the shoes are for playing Final Fantasy 11 which came with a code to get these shoes <laughs> and yep bikini that is awesome all right so you're obviously a Final Fantasy fan playing all those other games yeah for the record seeing as we're here what do you think of Final Fantasy 13 good or bad uh it's been so long since I played it. I haven't touched it in a few years. But yeah, <laughs> I the story it. was about um, disjointed. But yeah, it was a good, good enough game. I didn't mind being pulled through it, even though it was linear. Anyway, good to see you as always, even if you're in those pants. <laughs> Seriously, Vile Everett, a big hello to you. And uh, we can see that he's... Oh, hello. Hello there. Now, tell us what you're wearing. It looks like you've got a very fancy crown. Uh, my crown is the Chronicler's crown. Oh, we were talking about that earlier in the show, weren't we? Congratulations. Any of your other gear there very special? Um, just a griffin skin uh, jerkin, I guess. I think Catella was wearing it as well. Oh, yes, she is. I can see you in the background there, Catella. So how do you get hold of that one? Um, I actually bought it. <laughs> well, you know what? That's still an achievement, if you ask me. What about you, Catella? Did you buy yours? I did, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You guys are like Reggie, shopping. You're shopping fiends. Congratulations there. And I think finally on the end here, looks like we... We've got Sarah. Hello to you. Hello. Now, let me guess. Your crown is also for leveling all your characters to level 50, all your classes or jobs. Is that right? Uh, yes, that's right. Congratulations. I can't, again, imagine ever doing that myself. Uh, are you wearing anything else that's a bit special? Uh, no, not really. Well, uh, oh, I mean, actually, there is one thing that I did have yeah. that I'm kind of curious if anybody else has. Uh, if you would look at my earrings, they're from you. defeating the hardest fight in the game. Oh, what's that? The White Raven. The White Raven? What on earth is the White Raven? It's from defeating one of the hardest fights in the entire game and will be unobtainable after 2.0 hits. Wow. Okay, that is definitely an achievement if you ask me. Congratulations. Well, there you have it, folks. Let's pan back out and take a good look at everyone here. I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations to everyone who earned all of those amazing items there. I am so, so very jealous of you. Well, Catella, I think it's time. We've reached the end of our show, I think. Have we got any more fashion shows to come? Any more fashion shows? No, we're done with the fashion show. At least for 1.0. For 1.0, you know what? I think we're going to have to do this again once the Realm Reborn has hit. But look, what I'd reckon, folks, is it's time for us to say our customary huge goodbye. So we'll go organize ourselves, and then we'll be right back. Well, welcome back, folks, and look at that. It is Pico Man in his jack-o'-lantern head. Pico, can you believe we made it this far? We made it to the very, very end. I hope you had fun in that episode. I think it's been another epic one. It's been epic, hasn't it? You know what? It's just been so great to see everybody's gear. And, in fact, before we go any further, as we pan around and have a look at everyone here, look at this. This is absolutely crazy. We're still here in the amphitheater, and we've still got folk that are just... Just barely awake. Scarlet Rosebud on the end there. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel a little, uh, yeah, tired. <laughs> yeah, a little tired. We've had a big weekend. Cindy, Game Latte, I'd just like to say a big thank you. It's been great to have you join us in this particular show. And I can't wait. You know, you made an announcement on your channel that you're going to be doing less work there. Are you still going to be doing the Gamer Hangouts with Bo? Uh, I hope so. I 
I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> okay, I hope so too, because I love watching those. Thanks again for joining us, and I certainly hope that you had lots and lots of fun. Jenna Blossom, down in the front there. How are you, mate? Are you surviving this? Just. Just. You know what? After this, I think you and I need to get a good Australian Kit Kat into us. I'm dying for some sugar. Oh, yeah. This. Absolutely. In fact, beside you, I can see Trouble. Trouble, the pirate mini ninja. Are you still awake? Ah. Uh, uh, just awake. Well, you've, got to stay, mode. you've got to stay awake because we want to see more Let's Plays from you. And of course, Mini Ninja is indeed. She plays it on YouTube. We love your content. So keep that up, please. And who else have we got here? I can see. Oh, look. It is Blind Rage. Blind, did you enjoy yourself today? Oh, he's oh. falling asleep. He's falling asleep. Catella, will you give him a slap for us, please? Yeah, I'm awake. Uh, what did I miss? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Welcome back. Welcome back to the land of the living. And besides, I was dreaming you, about goats. Are you dreaming about goats? Merrick. Why are you dreaming about my notes? Merrick, are you still with us as well? I'm still here. All right, thank you very much for coming along. It's always good to see you with your tricorder hat. And so, oh, look at that. Catella has fallen over. Are you still awake, Catella? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Thank you very much. Of course, we all know I that you put in for you. so much work behind the scenes. So thanks. I'm sure everybody gives their thanks to you for organizing such an epic episode today. Thank uh, you, Catella. Yes, thank you, Catella. Bless you, because you know what? This is going to be a great resource for everybody to be able to watch uh, in future generations of Final Fantasy players. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Lady Korea, I can see you over there. Are you still awake? I'm still awake. I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. And you know what? <laughs> As we pan around, I would just like to stop for a moment and say a huge big thank you to every single one of the members of A Distant World here who have joined us today. By my reckoning, we've been here for four and a half hours, folks. I'll say that again. Four and a half hours worth of filming. It is an ungodly hour of the morning in many parts of the world. I would like to say a huge big thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm sure that everybody watching along in this episode really appreciates the effort but in the meantime folks we are all falling asleep we need to get out of here on behalf of myself Seraphis Pico Catella Blind Rage Scarlet everybody Cindy that came along and joined us today it's us saying take care hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye 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 bye, bye. 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 You know what the sad fact is, Sydney? Sydney? <laughs> and we're off. <clears throat> and here we are. Uh, <clears throat> here we are losing my voice. Seriously, I've got, <clears throat> I've got not much voice left. <laughs> right. Shiver me timbers, matey. What are we talking about here today? Well, occasionally there be certain pieces of gear that are only available through completing certain lives. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I went kind of... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the language. There goes our racing. Whoa. <laughs> <I'm a cracker. laughs> Where's the sensor be? <laughs> oh, that is such a blooper. Thank you very much for giving us our blooper of the day. That is awesome. No! <laughs> yeah, blooper of the day I like too. totally changed accents right there. <laughs> and then you need awesome. to shoehorn to get your foot yeah. out of your mouth. And you did it so seamlessly. It's awesome. <laughs> Photographer wishes she had audio recorder. Yeah, I think so. I want to see how long she can keep up the pirate. Okay, uh, let's pick it up again. Should I start from occasionally again? Yeah, yeah, occasionally. Yeah. Hang on. What exactly is a special leave? I don't know what they are. Uh, one sec. Yeah. <laughs> The next pieces of the Templar Holoquin set are modeled by. Wait, wait, that's what you were. <laughs> Alright, can't wait to give. Oops. Blah, blah, blah. Hang on. I can also see Master Vivi in here as well. Go. Oh, there it goes. There he goes. Hey, Master. <laughs> yeah. Alright, hang on a second. I have the Ifrit Claws. And... Oh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, I'm here. Yep, cool. Hang on. Here we go. And standing next to Shokashuko is Master Vivi. A good evening to you, sir. Are you there? 
I don't think his mic is working. Uh, I'm talking, can you hear me? Oh, there yeah, we you can go. Hear there you now go. we can. That's okay, we'll just carry on. Now, you look like you're... Can you you're... guys hear me? Yep, we can hear yeah. you. Oh, he can't hear us, probably. Maybe, we'll try. You look like you're wielding a couple of Ifrit items there. Are you able to tell us what they are? Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 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 that was random. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>